<laughs> Hi, this is St. Jerome of Crypto Experiences bringing you yet another crypto experience. Today, I want to talk about crypto safety and being how important being offline is going to be in the near future. Now, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Don't follow anything I say financial advice. But these are things that I, I think some of my friends are doing and uh, something I think I'm going to do too. So uh, one thing you don't want to do is have, well, you can do it. But one thing I'm not going to do is leave my cryptos on any exchanges. I'm going to get my uh, all my private keys in my own control and get them offline. This goes along a lot with what Pastor Lindsey Williams said a long time ago before cryptos were really a thing. And he uh, said from his um, dealings with the elite whom, with whom he was uh, friendly um, that if it's written on a piece of paper, it's worth a piece of paper. And that really struck home with me, the difference between fiat and then a hard asset. Fiat is not backed by anything. Fiat is currency. And right now, our Federal Reserve dollars are fiat dollars. They're not backed by anything. So we're, it's on the good faith of the uh, American government. Um, if you have a hard asset like gold or silver traditionally, then they have some value and hold in your hands. Other people have used uh, for store of wealth, they've used property. Uh, houses, et cetera. Um, those things have been maybe even commodities or some other kind, other metals or something. But today uh, we are blessed that we have cryptocurrency and different kinds of cryptos and we have something else that's also valuable. So uh, I wanna talk about what things you really need, well, one needs to do, not necessarily you, because this is not financial advice, but what well, one needs to do, uh, me, in order to keep myself safe. What a lot of my friends are going to do personally is they're going to take their cryptos offline and uh, probably the best way to do that, you get them off the exchanges and get a control of your private keys. You put all your wallets um, onto an offline device. So um, you should have an offline computer or one should have an offline computer. And with an offline computer, you can uh, keep those cryptos safe. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to protect them from any kind of EMP damage also electromagnetic pulse. Uh, they sell good, pretty good quality electromagnetic pulse bags on Amazon, um, but you wanna keep any kind of possible damage from uh, one of those pulses from hurting your computer. So uh, now if we have an electromagnetic pulse uh, due to a solar storm or um, something else, um, a lot of things are gonna be out of commission, but if, if, if and when, things come back online, then you'll be ready to go and get set back up again. So anyway, uh, one thing you can do is get yourself a computer and take it offline. Now, a good friend of mine, Bitcoin Ben, uh, his company is called Calix Solutions and they make offline computers and they will get them set up with you. You talk to uh, his partner, Patrick, and Patrick will talk to you and you can figure out exactly what you need to put on the computer and he'll download that, those things that you need and set the computer up uh, so you can take it offline. So anyway, um, here is my friend. Here's an early photo of Ben when he was first getting started. He's got his little Bitcoin uh, Ben cup and a big uh, Litecoin advocate, but now he's uh, got running all sorts of crypt crypto endeavors. Um, one is, uh, He's got an entrepreneurs group and they're going to be doing some business in El Salvador, which is pretty exciting with, with the, the uh, Bitcoin being legal tender in El Salvador. Uh, also, um, Ben uh, has, of course, this Calix Solutions company. And then he's also dealing uh, as franchising, helping franchise Crypto World, which is based out of St. Louis area. Um, and they are looking to expand quite rapidly. So anyway. Uh, Ben's company, Calix Solutions, offers a offline compu a computer that you can put your cryptos on. Now, I am going to run that commercial. Uh, I'm a rookie at this uh, podcasting, so uh, if I mess up a little bit, please forgive me. But uh, we're going to run that commercial, take a look at it. It's not very long. It's, only, it's not, even, not even a minute, but it'll give you an idea. Are you buying and selling cryptos on the same laptop that you're using to browse the internet, read your email, and visit social media sites? If so, you're exposing your cryptos to theft. Whenever you're online, you're at risk of getting hacked and having your identity stolen. How would you feel if someone stole all of your cryptos? What would that do to your finances? 
guard your cryptos with a safe and secure laptop from Calix Solutions. Each laptop is set up just for you and your cryptos, and then we walk you through exactly how it works. Don't risk the security of your cryptos. Order a crypto laptop from Calix Solutions now to secure your crypto future. Learn more at calixsolutions.io. Are you buying and selling cryptos? So anyway, that is the Calix Solutions commercial. Like I said, I'm a rookie and I think I played that twice. So we started to play it the second time anyway. So anyway, I would highly advise, well, I don't advise anybody. I don't do financial advice. I would advise myself to uh, get a computer from uh, Calix Solutions. And I am, uh, uh, I do have a computer set up ready to go offline for some things. So uh, that's one way to get some security on your cryptos. Uh, another way is by uh, advice I got from Joe Snips, who's called Snippy Online, and he's very good with cryptos. I would advise, uh, eh, I keep it, trying to advise. I would say it's, it may not be a bad idea to join Snippy's Patreon, and uh, it's $20 a month. But what's good about it is you have a crypto question that's, you know, especially a quick one. He's really good about answering back, and he's given me some good advice already on uh I was trying to really make sure that when I hook up to certain sites, they were not a scam site because that's going on a lot now. There's a controversy with, I think, both Trezor and Ledger. Um, I can't remember which one, but one of them, there was some, uh, there was one of those were being resold, but they had, they'd been previously broken into so that when you use the Trezor, it was asking for your private keys online and then they stole it from you and people are losing some money some cryptos. So you got to be careful of that. So anyway, try to eliminate some of that. Uh, and Snippy was saying that uh, you got to be sure that to try to get all your cryptos off of your phone. I know that's inconvenient. So um, one solution might be to move your cryptos to that offline wallet and then kind of keep a minimum of what you're going to use on your phone, um, on your cell, but don't, don't keep the bulk of them on there. Uh, if someone gets a hold of your SIM card, they can uh, pretty much recreate and take all your cryptos. So um, my phone company is Verizon. And what I went in and I went did two-factor uh, authentication so that um, they have to text my phone before we before we make any kind of a switch. Uh, also, there's a little button I could flip in there that gave me more security. Then when I was into the store getting a, a phone for a family member, uh, I set it up so that anybody uh, coming in to use the use the store would have to show a photo ID and then have a text sent to their phone right away. So a little more security that way. But I think the the most secure that for me is not keep very much on the phone. So just maybe a little bit of uh, walking around money, uh, and that's about it. And then if I needed more crypto, I could just uh, load it up with a little bit more on my uh, cell wallet. So that's like a second thing to do for uh, security. And a third thing is you can get a offline uh, wallet for sure. Uh, uh, two of the big ones, uh, uh, like flash drive, I just mentioned like that, but there's also a third one that is very good that I'm an ambassador for. Uh, and that is your ultimate offline wallet. Paper wallets are good and they are offline and no one can hack that paper. But the weakness on paper wallets is they're easily damaged. The print can smear. Uh, they can have uh, water damage, uh, different kinds of things can happen to that piece of paper. Um, and you may accidentally expose that key. Uh, ballet wallets are very, very secure. And ballet wallets, um, I'll, I'll pull up the screen. So behind me, I'll move to the side, are some ballet wallets. It looks like we have XRP, Litecoin, and Bitcoin wallet. Uh, each wallet actually holds about 100 coins, but if you have a big B or big L for Bitcoin or Litecoin, then that's going to be the uh, first one referenced on the card. So um, I've done several videos with these, but they're, they're very awesome. Um, this comes like a credit card, except it's made out of steel. It's very, very sturdy. So your public key is that sticker on the outside and people can send you money. So if someone sees your public key, great. They just sent you, they can, all they can do is send you money. Now, if you go to send, you have to peel back that out, outer sticker. There is a holographic um, B on there. That's the, the shiny ones like they use for the seal things. Uh, there also is a special scent 
on these. I'm not gonna tell you what the scent is, but it authenticates it. If it has the scent, it's kind of scratch and sniff. Um, then you peel it back, you get half of your private key is underneath on a QR code. And then the other one, it says verify wallet passphrase scratch off. You have to have both those in order to send your crypto from that wallet. So it is a really good store of value. Now moving it back and forth, um, it, it's not going to be the friendliest to do that. That's where if you have another type of offline uh, spot, you might be able to move things off and on. But then again, um, it's it's very good for storing. They do. Uh, they also have like gift cards you can where you have a, a small set. Um, looks like a Bitcoin wallet and it is a Bitcoin wallet, but it, it uh, um, stays into one of the currencies, doesn't go to all of them. You can get a Bitcoin one or a Litecoin one or Dogecoin. Um, and then the person gets a set amount on that card. So then they just use that store. It's great to give out for gift cards. Those are pretty cool. I gave them out at Christmas time. So, so anyway, it's kind of a short podcast today, uh, but I just wanted you to think about um, what it would mean to have everything on an online device, a cell phone or a computer and somewhere to hack into it. Well, I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm going at great lengths now to uh, get offline, uh, get a computer, offline for myself, uh, get different wallets offline and to make sure people don't hack on my cell phones. So I would advise you uh, to just think about it and see what would, would work for you. And again, not financial advice, but that's what I'm gonna do. That's my crypto experience. So I would appreciate uh, a like and a subscribe, uh, trying to build a podcast. And uh, I, I have a Patreon account, patreon.com backslash St. Jerome. Uh, going there i do have patreon levels and if you join i would be very quick to message you back i'm very good at that kind of thing and also there's another tier where you could we can have a, a conference call uh, monthly if you need that as i'm getting started so that'd be nice i'm also uh, have different affiliate codes different ways for both of us to make some money for example a coinbase a coinbase account if you go if you sign up through me um and and invest a hundred dollars then when you invest hundred dollars and it clears You'll get $10 free in Bitcoin, so that's 10% of what you invest, and I'll get $10 free for Bitcoin. I've done that a couple of times. It's pretty, it's pretty solid thing. So, all right. So thank you. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll come back to you soon with another podcast.